What's going on guys, John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to justify label text with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video we're going to look at justifying label text. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in this video, like I said, we're going to look at justifying text. So I've got three blocks of text here, I've got them in borders so that we can really see how they're positioned. And this one, the text is just centered, this one is sort of justified to the left, and this one is justified to the right. And this is really easy to do, uh, it should just take us a second, but it's kind of important because you'll oftentimes need to move your text around inside of the little widget, the label widget that you've created. So let's look at our code here, I've got our basic starter code that we always have, I've got a file called justify.py. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So let's just start out by creating a simple label. I'm going to call this my underscore label one, and this is going to be a label, and we want to put it in root. And let me put these on separate lines because this is going to be a lot of stuff here. So let's make the text equals, and I want to put three lines of text on each label. So I'm just going to type stuff, and then I'm going to use this slash n, which is a line break. So this will put the next thing on the next line. And then we'll go stuff, stuff, and then another line break, and let's go stuff, stuff, stuff. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right? Okay, so we've got our text. Now let's make this bigger so that we can read it easier. And let's go Helvetica. And let's make this like size 18, as we usually do. And now I also want to put this in a little box so that we can really see how it's positioned. So I'm going to give the box a border of one, and let's give the relief uh, equals, let's say sunken. So you know, that sort of makes it sunken in a little bit. So okay, that looks good. Now we can go my underscore label one dot pack, and give this a pad y of 20. So let's go ahead and save this and just run it real quick just to make sure we got that right. So justify.py. So head over to our sublime text editor and let's run python justify.py. And when we do we see stuff stuff stuff. Now you'll notice right off the bat that this is centered by default. When you use pack to pack your widgets, it just centers whatever it is by default, right? So that's that's centered, right? So we don't really need to understand how to center things. It just does it by default. I'll show you anyway, but you could just not do anything and it's going to be centered. So all right, let's go ahead and head back over to our code. And I'm just going to copy this a couple more times. So let's go two and three, and let's change this to label two. And this one will be label two. And then we'll change this to label three and pack label three. So, okay, now let's change the actual position. So I'm going to come here and slap a comma on here. And all we need to do is change the justify to whatever we want. So and this one, I want to put it on the left hand side. And then down here, we want to go justify and put this on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and save this head back over here and run it. And what we do we see now this is justified to the left. And this is justified to the right, meaning all the words in our widget is squished over to the right. And it sort of flows out from there from right to left. In this one, it's all justified to the left, it's all straight on the left, and then it flows to the right from there. So that's how you do that. Now, actually, play around with this, this is right up against here. So just for fun, I'm gonna head back over here to our code. And let's give this an iPad Y of 10, and an iPad X of 10, just to give it some space inside of here. And this is just for fun, really. <laughs> it's a short video, we gotta, we gotta make up some time here. Let's run this again. Okay, so now, now you see inside of here, there's some space around it, makes it look a little nicer. And uh, that's how you do it. So like I said, the default is center, you could justify it center if you want. So we can come down here to our last one. And instead of justifying it right, we could justify it center save this and run it. 
and you'll notice now the one on the bottom is centered. So that's how you justify center, or you could just leave it off completely, like I said, because the default is center. So very cool and very easy. And uh, really, that's all there is to it. Let me close this really quickly and head back over here. And let's change this back to right. Just for fun. We're just wasting time at this point. And we're back to right again. So very easy to change the justification of your text. So it is Monday morning here in Vegas, really short video for Monday, but it's Monday, who wants to do a long video? Hope you guys had a good weekend. I did a little bit of hiking out at Red Rock Canyon. It was awesome. <laughs> the weather is just perfect here in Vegas right now. It just turned, it was summer. And now it's like definitely fall. Like last week it was 106 degrees. Today it's like 75 or something. Really just like that here in Vegas, it changes. Great hiking weather and very exciting. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. They pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.